Wi-Fi Sheep would like to say a huge thank you to all of you that kindly support us. Help us continue to bring new videos like this. Join patreon.com forward slash Wi-Fi Sheep from just $1 a month. Hi everyone and welcome back to Wi-Fi Sheep right here on YouTube with me Tom. It's great to have your company once again. Now in today's video I want to address a question that has come up a few times in the past month or so and whenever that happens it's probably worth me doing a video on it. For those of you that regular to the channel you'll know that Wi-Fi Sheep is the official home of the Risk OS Direct video series. This is a completely free standalone ARM based operating system for the Raspberry Pi for which my channel does a series of support videos showing you how it all works and what you can do with it. Basically see it as an alternative to the Linux distros that you normally run on Raspberry Pi. Now quite a few of you have actually got in touch with me to ask what I think is quite a sensible question which is can you run Risk Rest Direct on anything other than a Raspberry Pi. Examples have been people who have old IBM ThinkBook or ThinkPad uh, netbook or uh, laptop computers, basically PC computers that would have originally run Windows. Well, the answer is technically no, but also yes. So the short answer is no. Risk OS is specifically designed as an ARM operating system. In fact, it was the world's first ARM operating system, originally coming out with the Acorn Archimedes, and Risk OS is an updated version of the Acorn Archimedes operating system. So basically, it's only ever natively supported the ARM architecture. So unlike Linux, that you can get various versions for different platforms, Risk OS can't run on a PC, which is normally x86 architecture. It can't run on it natively. So if your machine, be it a Mac or PC, has either an AMD or an Intel processor, then no, Risk OS can't replace your current operating system, which is normally Windows. However, if you do want to try Risk OS or Risk OS Direct out on a PC, you can, thanks to a completely free and open source emulator. A special version of Risk OS Direct has been forked and ported to the RPC EMU emulator, which you can find links in the description of this video or going straight to maruton.net. From there, you'll find a page of easy start packages and are designed specifically for Windows. They work well on Windows 7, 8 or 10. And you can download these and install an almost ready to go out the box emulated version of Risk OS. So the address that we want to go to online is maruton.net forward slash RPC EMU. Or you can follow the links directly in the description to this video. Here we are then on the page. And if we scroll down, you'll find a link here for easy start bundles. And if you follow the link directly from the video, this is the page it'll uh, take you to. And it's really simple. So these are basically for Windows, but all the files are there if you want to compile your own Linux or Mac builds of RPC EMU. But we'll just be using uh, Windows for today. So two versions, as I mentioned in the introduction, there's RISC-OS 3.71. Uh, this is better if you're planning of trying to run older vintage risk rest software things that required 26-bit derivative processors so if you're going to play your archimedes games your elites your lemmings whatever else i highly recommend version 3.71 which is the very last official acorn release however what we're going to look at is risk rest direct which is on a 5.27 rom and this mirrors the Raspberry Pi version of Risk Rest Direct that you've seen already here on the channel. Now, both versions come with a mixture of software, especially Risk Rest Direct, which comes with virtually everything on board that you got on the Pi version, bar a few things that have had to be removed uh, due to the compatibility issues, because you have to understand that uh, RISC-PC EMU is a different virtual emulated architecture to that of the Broadcom-based Raspberry Pi. So we go to downloads and we have other platforms which gives you the bundles if you want to compile your own version. 
uh, we want to go for the Windows 7, 8 and 10 edition and we'll just click and we'll download that file. And this takes us through to Google Docs and then we'll just click to download. Now I must stress this version is not officially supported by RiskWest Developments Limited and it's a kind of unofficial part-time side project. What happened was one of RPC EMU's developers, Peter Halkins, who I do know personally, uh, put up on Twitter a prototype of a RiskWest Direct system running under his emulator. I saw that, thought it was an absolutely fantastic idea, and so I managed to approach the people that I normally work for at RiskWest Developments to say, look, can we do this? RiskWest Developments uh, get their blessing, but did stress it is not an official project. So between myself and Peter, this is the distribution we came up with. So it's a sort of unofficial official fork, if you like. Uh, but it will give you the RiskWest Direct experience quite easily and simply on your home PC. OK, so the file has downloaded. I'm now here over on Windows 7. This is probably the bottom end of specification and machine you can run this on successfully. So we just need to unzip. And on this particular machine, this will take a moment. Uh, if you're using something much newer than this, Windows 8 or a much newer machine with Windows 10, you're going to get much better speed performance than this. This is just the operating system being slow. It's nothing to do with uh, RPC EMU in any sort of capacity. Just bear in mind, it's a nearly 2 gig in data, not a bit more than that actually. So yeah, 1.73 gigabytes. So make sure you have actually got the disk space to extract this. RiskQuest itself isn't that big an operating system, but obviously you've got the emulator itself and you've got all the disk images and software that it comes bundled. And that's what takes up the space with RiskQuest Direct. So if we open up the folder and we have RPC EMU Direct and if we scroll down, you have the recompiler or the interpreter and one of these runs faster than the other and I can't remember for life which one it is. Um, I think it's interpreter version runs faster. So we'll double click and see what happens. There we go. As I already mentioned before, this is not um, representative of how fast RiskOS Direct can actually be, and it will run faster and a little bit more smoother on an actual Raspberry Pi. But it's not bad here on the emulator version on Windows at all. So it boots into a sort of pretty safe 800 by 600, and we can widen that out. We can change our resolution, which will make a bigger screen if we want. And yeah, so it, as you can see, it's pretty much set up as you'd expect on the Raspberry Pi version. Um, just quick show you host FS. So this acts like the SD card would on the Pi build. And anything you put in the host FS folder on the Windows side will appear here. Um, so let's, we can have a quick look at the apps, which are all the sort of things you'd expect, such as there's my basic app, which still thinks it's the Raspberry Pi. <laughs> it isn't. Uh, and of course we can quit QUIT, oops, uppercase of course, QUIT, there we go. So we can quit out of that, no problem. Um, diversions, which include the games. So there's still most of the games, including the ScumVM emulator on here, uh, Doom's on here. Utilities, most of the uh, Viscross utilities that are included are obviously all here as well so yeah it's pretty much as you'd expect and it runs very very well considering uh, the architecture that you're running on um, obviously if you want more information about how to use RISCRS Direct then do check out the video series uh, most of what is in that video series in actually using the operating system is completely cross-compatible and related to what you can do here on RPC EMU. Oh, by the way, if you need to set up a middle click, we just go Control and End just to break out. 
go to settings, uh, mouse, uh, you can put it to two button mouse mode. And this now means that instead of needing to middle click anything, you can now right click and it will behave as it would on a Windows or Mac. And that's kind of uh, important. If we go back to full screen, that's kind of important if you need to actually right click or middle click to be able to do things like shut down the system and shut down like so. This obviously doesn't actually shut down your computer. It just closes the emulator session and then we can actually just quit um, by hitting the exit on Windows. Or we can obviously just restart our system and it will do a, a reboot for us. Another thing to just keep in mind is that it only loads with 256 megabytes of memory. Uh, that's the top end of what the emulator can do. So it doesn't matter how much RAM your machine has or how much you can throw at it, it's only ever going to be able to use 256 on this particular build. Uh, the Raspberry Pi versions obviously go up to 1 gig or 2 gig, depending on which platform you're using. So there we go. So do go and have a look at that. The address you need to go to again is maruton.net forward slash rpcemu or follow the links in the description to this video. I just want to take this opportunity to give a special shout out and thank you to Matthew and Peter Halkins, who are the current developers of RPC EMU, and especially Peter Halkins, who has worked so hard on getting this special fork of Risk Rest Direct working under the emulator. Personally, I take no credit for anything. I did do about 9% of the work, mainly the graphics and getting the things legally sorted out and the rest of my work has actually been doing this video. So it's very much down to Peter and all the credit must go his way. If you've enjoyed this video, then thank you so much for your company. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll have much more from Risk Arrest coming up real soon. Until next time, keep safe, keep well, and bye for now.